good afternoon, evening everybody. Um, welcome to my class with uh, more challenging options. Obviously options, you don't have to add those options in. Um, and today we're gonna have a little bit more of a go with the gliders and we're gonna focus on advanced um, abdominals. Again, options, um, but I've got some really um, exciting exercises for you. Um, so as I said before, you need either um, so a piece of paper you can use for gliding. I bought these gliders, they're only $5.99 or something on, on Amazon, so they're really good. And I might be using them in the future with my new toy. Okay, um, or if you've got paper plates at home, just something you can slide your feet on. Don't have to use them, just giving you some ideas and it really does work your core uh, and your abdominals a little bit more. So as usual, make sure you've got um, your mat, which is a good enough space, uh, ventilation, water, um, using your light weights if you want to, obviously using your, your grips as well, your um, stretchy band, again, up to you. Okay, so take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, lengthen through the spine. Remember, uh, neutral spine position, so you're not arching, you're not pushing your hips out. Chin retracted, open up the shoulders, lift the rib cage, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, draw the abdominals in, activating your core. Um, and as usual, if you've got the activation band, you need to make sure the knees aren't rolling in. So pelvic floor bust and muscles, push the legs out a little bit so you're activating your core. Okay, so let's warm up first of all. Um, so turn to the side. Lift the chest, shoulder blades back and down, neutral spine position. Up onto the toes, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, draw the abdominals in, hinge the hips back, tuck the chin in, opening the back of the neck, opening the spine, opening the shoulder blades, and rolling down as far as it's comfortable. And so you're just relaxing your arms, head, neck and shoulders. You're feeling a nice stretch, gentle stretch in calves, thighs, buttock muscles and lower back. No bouncing, just relaxing here and just straightening the legs enough. So you start to get a bit of a warm up stretch there. Okay, breathing in, breathing out. Draw the abdominals in, slowly come back up, tuck the chin in. All the way back up. Again, lengthening through the top of the spine, lumbar spine length in neutral spine position, up onto the toes, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, engage your core, and then just relaxing the upper body. Try and keep the abdominals in if you can, and breathing normally as you're holding this position. Breathing in, breathing out, slowly coming up. Check your knee alignment as you come back up, make sure the knees aren't rolling in. Push them out a little bit. Activate your core with the bands. Good, and up to the top. Fantastic. All right, feet hip distance apart. Check your posture, check your knees. And just start with our warm-ups. Breathing in, breathing out. Make sure the rib cage is lifted. Chest lifted, draw the abdominals in. Chin retracted so you're not straining the neck. That's it, and just relax the arms, relax the hands, and focus on those shoulder joints. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good, hands on the shoulders. Continue that movement. And then the arms, breathing in, breathe out. Draw the abdominals in, stretching up. And all the way back, opening up the chest, shoulder blades back and down. So just reminding you of your posture here, elbows level with the ears, remember. Chin retracted, breathing in, breathing out. Stretching up from the shoulder blades. No hunching, reaching up. All the way back, opening up the chest. And down one more time. Remember pelvic floor, buttock muscles, breathing in, breathing out. Draw the abdominals in and then stretching up. Now keep the abdominals in, breathing in again. Breathe out, reach up a little bit more with one arm. Breathing in, breathing out, reaching up and draw the abdominals in. There, each side. Try not to hunch again. If you need to bend the elbows a little bit to get that stretch position. That's fine. All right, arms behind you. Chest lifted, shrug the shoulders and relax the shoulders down. Breathing in, breathing out. Draw the abdominals in. Good, breathing in and out. Good, alternating side to side, stretching. And then a little bit more 
keep the abdominals in, chin retracted, shoulder blades back and down. So this stretch is coming from your upper back, stretching, stretching, good, and relax. All right, open the chest, arms behind you, check, posture, neutral spine position, and relax the chin forwards. And back, breathing in, breathing out. Remember core muscles, abdominals in, and then draw up to the ceiling, make sure you're not lifting the shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. Stretch that shoulder down as you lift the jaw sideways. Breathing in, breathing out. Stretching. Good, and relax. All right, turn the head to the side. Keep the shoulders, hips, knees and feet facing front. And then breathe in, breathe out slowly. Rolling that head forwards. Up to the other side, breathing in, breathing out, head forwards. Look over the shoulder, good, breathing in, breathing out, nice and slowly, letting the, all the tension go in the neck. All right, chin retracted, ear to shoulder, keep the shoulder lengthened away, and add the arm in, breathing in, breathing out. And the other side, breathing in. Breathing out, shoulder down. And then hands behind the head. That's it, head forwards. Great. Okay, hands on the shoulders or arms out to the side, up to you. So I just want you to get um, just a, a little bit of a warm up here uh, in the upper body because we're focusing on abdominals. It's important just to warm this area up, breathing in, breathing out. Side to side, leaning with the chest, keep the elbows back. Breathing in, breathing out, turn the head to the, towards the arm that's coming forwards. And good, hold it, open up the chest a bit more, stretch both arms out and really reach from the spine. Reach, and what I like to do here is turn the palms backwards there, stretch from the wrists and it also gives you a nice stretch not only in the wrist, all the way up the arm, into the shoulder, into the chest, and of course your shoulder blades as well. And then we'll just do that the other side. Open, reach, stretch on the spine, one way and the other way. Turn the palms backwards, open up a little bit more, and stretch there diagonally. Turn the palms back. Good, and then we'll just go the, the other side. Open up, now turn the palms that way, and you'll still stretching both palms from the wrist but a slightly different stretch so opening turn the palms inwards open and stretch brilliant okay right into our side lunges legs as wide as uh, as wide as you need to to get that stretch in the inner thigh three points of connection chin retracted breathing in breathing out draw those abdominals in sink the hips back breathing in Breathing out. The important thing here is to support your back, of course. So try not to let this happen when you're doing it. Slow and control with Pilates. Open up the chest, chin retracted. And if you forget, just take the arms slightly behind you. That should help you activate those shoulder blades as well. Breathing in, breathing out. Draw the abdominals in. Breathing in, breathing out. Side to side. So this is a warm up, slow and controlled. And then we're going to hold it one side, turn the feet out, sink the hips back a little bit more, and then down a little bit lower, up to you, how far you go. Keep the hands on the legs to support you if you need to, or again, slightly behind you to keep your posture alignment there. Good, and then swap, and then we'll just go back the other way. Turn the feet out if you want to, and sink the hips back and down so that knee doesn't go too far forwards. Posture, breathing in, breathing out. Good, fantastic. Okay, we're going to turn to the side um, for our hip flexor stretch. Again, you can use your weights here if you're joining me uh, with more challenging options. I can use your band. I'm going to bring it in a bit later, so I'm going to do it without today. Okay, so standing nice and tall, back nice and straight, chin retracted, shoulder blades back and down, breathing in, breathing out. Tip the pelvis under here. So this is your hip flexor. We're trying to activate, which again, very important um, for our posture 
uh, because we're so sort of hunched up a lot these days, it just stretches that out. Okay, both arms up. If you, if you haven't, if you're not using the balance, interlace the fingers, reaching up. Remember you're stretching up uh, from the shoulder blades, not the top of the shoulders, breathing in, breathing out. All right, stretching up, tip the pelvis under to activate your core. And then we're going over to the side, lift the rib cage, good, and back. And again, up, breathing in, breathing out, over, tip the pelvis under, elbows level with the ears. Good, and then back to the center, lift the chest, draw the arms up, lift the chest up and back slightly, but you're still stretching upwards. Breathe in, breathe out, draw those abdominals in, push the hip forward. So hopefully you'll feel that stretch going all the way through the core. All right, let's swap to the other side. Remember, you can make this a big, a big lunge, a small lunge, entirely up to you. Breathing in, breathing out, tip the pelvis under, activate your hip flexor. Good, breathing in, breathing out, stretching up, elbows level with the ears, up and over, draw the abdominals in, stretch into the side, tip the pelvis under, and back, breathing in, breathing out, up and over, good, and back, stretching up, and back, good, fantastic, all right, front of your thigh stretch, knees level, chin retracted, breathing in, Breathing out, tip the pelvis under, heel in towards the hip. Again, if you can balance, take the hand off the wall. Breathing in, breathing out. Front of the thigh stretch, a little bit deeper. That's it. All right, swap sides. Hold your foot. And call trouser leg, or you can always use your band here um, if you're not particularly flexible. Knees level, breathing in, breathing out. Tip the pelvis under, chin retracted, draw the abdominals in. If you can balance, take the hand off the wall, hold your foot. Breathing in, breathing out. Tip the pelvis under. Great, okay, so we're gonna go into our um, squat section. So we're gonna do lunges, but we're gonna work the abdominals at the same time. Now, I'm sure you all know about your abdominal muscles. You've got the main abdominal muscle, the transversus abdominis, which goes all the way up here. Um, you've got your oblique muscles, the ones on the side, and we've got our Pilates muscle, transversus abdominis. I'm sure you wanted to know that. But anyway, it inserts in the pelvic floor, uh, comes up and it, it, it exerts, it inserts into the low back. So that's how you're getting your strength, your core. But working all those muscles um, it, are still very important, not just the Pilates muscle we talk about. Um, so grab your, your either your bands, or your light weights and we're going to do a little bit of work um, on our obliques okay so how this works we're going to do our normal lunge lunge position so we step squat good and back so just practice that posture chin shoulders big or step big or small step up to you and obviously how low you go is up to you make sure the hip doesn't go back lower than the knee breathing in Breathing out and down. Okay, so grab your weights um, or your band, and we're going to activate the, the, the oblique muscles, the muscles on the side of the waist. These are quite good. Some of the things we're going to do today, they don't require you to do sit-ups, but they're still really working the abdominals, so I quite like them. Okay, so you're going to have your arms out to the front. Okay, if you've got the weights, you can have the weights in both hands. Both like that or, or the band, I'll show you the band option in a minute. Okay, so breathing in, breathing out, we're going to step, lunge. Now remember, Pilates, breathe in, breathe out, draw the abdominals in. So we're going to take the arms to the side, draw the abdominals in at the same time. So as you do that, you should feel uh, these oblique muscles working. Okay, breathing in, breathing out, and then we're going to go the other way. That's it, air breathing in. Breathing out, you can bring the arm around a little bit if you want to, if it's more comfortable, breathing in, breathing out, tip the pelvis under, draw those abdominals in. Okay, I'll just show you with the band. Same thing, wind the band up as much as you need to. Posture, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals in, and back, breathing in, breathing out. Good, so can you feel those core muscles working, your oblique muscles? If not, draw those abdominals in a little bit more, breathing in. Breathing out, abdominals in, tip. Make sure you tip the pelvis under as in, 
like this rather than like that. Back nice and straight and there. You can always take the arm around a little bit further. Be careful of your low back here. Make sure it, it stays comfortable. Breathing in, breathing out. There. There. Yeah, okay. And then step back and then we'll do it on the other leg. So step, lunge, and again, breathing in, breathing out. There. There. Abdominals in. There. Stretch that arm back a little bit more if you want to. Draw the core muscles in. Again, these are working your oblique muscles. Draw them in. Muscles on the side of the waist. There. There. Okay, so we're going to speed that up a little bit. As in we'll do a bit more, few more lunges. Okay, so arms here with the weights, with the band. So we're going to go step, squat. And we're going to do four on this side. Two. Breathing in, breathing out. Three. Four. Four the other side. One. Two, draw the abdominals in. Three and four and back. Change legs down. Squat. Okay, four. One, two, draw those abdominals in. Three, four. How far you go back here is up to you. Just make sure it's comfortable on your low back. Breathing in, breathing out. There. Four, two, and one. Good. And back. And again, down. Okay, one. Two, draw the abdominals in. Three, four, and back. One, the side. Two, three, draw the abdominals in. It's, this doesn't work as well if you're not drawing those abdominals in. So forwards, down, and there. That's it. Three, four, and back. One, two, three, four. Good, fantastic. Okay, pop the um, the bands and the weights down for a minute. You're gonna need it. gonna need them later. Come back onto your mat, and then we're just gonna go into our stretches here. So open the shoulder blades, breathing in, breathing out. Turn the hands inside out, reaching up, and then up and over into your side bends. Breathing in. Breathing out, up and over. That's it, up and over. Nice and slowly. Draw the abdominals in. I mean, again, if you do want to work your obliques a little bit more, grab your band or your weights. And as we go over to the side, draw the abdominals in. Bring the arm down a little bit further. There. There. And again, you're going to work those abdominals a little bit more, breathing in, breathing out. Slow and controlled, but again, if you want to work harder, wind the band up a little bit more. You can speed it up a little bit, as long as we're not bouncing. All right, it's not an aerobics class, it's Pilates, breathing in, breathing out. So you can speed it up, as long as you've got those core muscles engaged. There, there, there. So we're working on our mobility, but we're also working on strengthening our abdominals, stretching our core. Okay, pop the bands out, hands behind the head, breathing in, breathing out. Hands just above the elbow there, stretch the arm back. Keep your posture, breathing in, breathing out, stretch. And the other one, stretch. Good, and relax. Deep stretches for our arms and shoulders. So right arm over the left. Lock the elbows, push the elbows away. Breathing in, breathing out. Draw the abdominals in. Now keep the feet, knees and hips facing the front. Again, move the upper body to the side. Don't force it so that it pulls on your back. If you feel it pulling, do bend your knees a little bit more. Tuck the hips under or take the legs a little bit wider. That's it. Breathing in and just try and work on that flexibility. So you're bringing the arm around. I feel that stretch in the shoulder. Turning the head the other way. Breathing in, breathing out. Draw the abdominals in. So again, if you draw the abdominals in here, not only are we stretching, we are working those bleed muscles. Breathing in, breathing out there. Back to the centre, elbows away, and then extend the forearms further forwards. Brilliant. Okay, other side, left over right. Push the elbows forward. Breathing in, breathing out. Side to side, abdominals in, keep the hips facing the front. Feet, knees, hips and shoulders. 
in line, and breathing in, breathing out, turn the head in the other direction, there, good, and back, extend the forearms, further forwards, brilliant, all right, open up the chest, arms behind you, shoulder blades back and down, stretching, good, and relax, okay, so if you're going to join me in with the sliding, um, you need to keep your shoes on. I made the mistake last time to take your shoes off. Don't take your shoes off if you're going to join me um, for the sliding. And you might need to turn the mat round sideways. Um, okay, so let's go into a, a downward dog stretch first. And then we're going to go from there. Okay, up onto the toes, breathing in, breathing out, rolling down, hinge the hips back. And this time, just going into... Um, our deeper back of the leg stretches. Make sure you're not overarching the back here. Hinge the hips back, but draw the abdominals in. And either holding the floor or somewhere on the legs that's comfortable. All right, bend your knees slightly, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals in. Hinge the hips back. Hold it for a few seconds. Bend and straighten. So feel um, your arms getting closer towards the floor, your hands hopefully as the body is stretching out, breathing in, breathing. All right, alternating. That's it. Stretch and hold it for a few seconds. Feel that the back of the legs lengthening, lower back, button muscles there. Great, okay, turn the toes inwards for our deeper stretches. Breathing in, bend the knees, breathing out, straighten the legs. Breathing in, breathing out, and then alternate. Bend one, straighten the other. Good, all right, turn the feet the other way. Feet turned out, bend the knees, straighten the legs. Breathing in, breathing out. Bend and straighten, and then alternate. Bend and straighten. Good, knee facing forward. <coughs> Sink the hips back, hold your foot if you can reach and turn the foot inwards and outwards. Good, and then the other one. Stretch back and turn the foot inwards and outwards. Good. All right, so first of all, walk your hands forward into a downward dog stretch. We're gonna, uh, Go into our sliding in a minute. Let's just give our back a nice stretch out. Stretching back. Good. Feet hip distance apart. Hips back up. Stretching. Stretch the spine. Come up onto the toes. Breathing in. Breathing out. Draw the abdominals in. Very important here that you're not rounding. Shoulder blades back and down. Abdominals in. Looking there. Up and down. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then alternating, bend one, straighten the other. Good, okay, then we're gonna come forwards into our plank position, so breathe in. Breathe out, abdominals in, coming forwards. Remember how far forwards you come is up to you. Um, if you're not quite strong enough yet, just come forwards a little bit, doesn't really matter. If you are a bit strong or you've built up your strength, try and bring your head a little bit further forwards than the fingers, so your back is in a nice straight line. Remember, don't drop the hips down, that can strain your low back. And then we go back into that stretch. Breathing in, breathing out, coming forwards, abdominals in. Chin retracted, draw those abdominals in, you're going to work. Remember, this is um, advanced abdominals this exercise, uh, this week. So really draw those abdominals in, shoulder blades back and down. Just going to hold it for a couple of seconds, forwards and back. Good, fantastic. All right, so we're going to go into... Um, our gliding or sliding section, if you like. Um, if you don't want to add these in, it's quite challenging. Um, remember, you can use your bit of paper, your um, paper plate, anything you want to. Um, if you're not going to join me with that, just, just do our normal uh, bringing the knees up exercise, which you've all done before. Okay, so here we go. Good luck. <laughs> this is quite challenging, so please make sure you're strong enough and your back's strong enough um, at any point if it's too much. Please go back to what we do normally. So I've got the lap sideways this time. Okay, so we're here. 
So you want one foot um, on the glider or on your bit of paper here. That's it. So we're in our plank position. Come back a little bit. Breathing in, breathing out. Okay, so level one, you're going to bring the knee up towards you. Now you have to drag the foot um, on the glider. Breathing in, breathing out. Draw those abdominals in. So already you're going to feel it more challenging on your, your abdominals. Draw them in there and back. Then we're going to go diagonally, breathing in, breathing out. So nice and slowly, again, you can, you can um, double it up, speed it up a little bit if you want to. That's it, that is what we normally do. So if it's too much, just do your normal one where you bring the knee up, foot off the floor. That's it, how are we doing so far? Okay, breathing in, breathing out, and side to side. And a little bit more underneath if you want to. There, okay. So just to ramp that up a little bit, and again, please make sure um, you're okay with this. If not, just go back to what we normally do. So we're going to need to make sure your back is in a strong position. Yeah, okay, and we're gonna bring both knees up. Make sure the weight is forward, and we're bringing it up and back. Breathing in, breathing out. Shoulder blades back and down. There, and back. There, and back. How's that feel? Obviously, it's working your whole body here as well, working your arms, working your core. Okay, so final level <laughs> with this one. You're going to bring both knees up to the diagonal. Breathing in, breathing out. There we go. There. Dominals in. There. There. So if that feels okay, we do one to the centre, one to the side, and one to the other side. Really draw those abdominals in. So here we go. Breathing in, breathing out front, breathing out side, side and back and front, side, side, draw the abdominals in, there, forwards, side, side and back. How was that? <laughs> okay, well, well done if you managed to do it. Um, all right, so let's roll back over the other way. <laughs> keep your bits of paper um, or plates uh, just for a second come back onto your mat and then we're going to go into our cat stretch rounding the shoulders and back use your position shoulder blades back and down breathing in breathing out rounding and stretching back sit back on your heels arms stretch out in front of you relax your back relax your arms into your Child's pose stretch, if it's comfortable for you. Good. Okay, so we're going to flip over uh, into our reverse plank position. Again, you can use the grips if you want to. Um, so grab your, grab your sliders, your plates. And the important thing is with this one, um, that you, you've got your heels on the glider. So I'm just going to show you. Okay. So you've got your heels on the glider. So make sure you can slide there. Okay, arms behind you, either on the grips or on the floor. And what we're going to do, breathe in, breathe out. Now you've got to slide your feet away. And back. That looks quite easy, doesn't it? <laughs> but remember, with the reverse plank, we come up and we slide and then we bring it back down. So we're coming up, glide and back. Now, again, you can lift the hips a little bit higher there if you want to, and then draw it back. So then, and then not go back on the mat each time. Again, this is quite challenging. If you find it too much, maybe just do breathing in, breathing out one and then the other. But the idea with the glider is that you press your heel as much as you draw it back and that works your abdominals a little bit more. Okay, so we're going there, away and back. So try to do it without going back each time. There, and lift the hips up. So we're going down, stretch up, down and up. Again, if it's too much, maybe do one and then the other. Keep the hips up nice and high. 
Good. <laughs> well done. And relax. All right, hug your knees. Nice deep breath in. And out, rounding the shoulders. Good. Okay, so now we're going into um, our rolling down. But again, with the difference, we're going to be using um, the gliders. So let me turn around. I think we'll go back this way. Um, I'm just going to map forward a bit. Okay. So this time we've got the, uh, the guy just behind us on your bit of paper. And I'm going to give you some different options. So we're doing our rolling down, but we're quite um, advanced focus on the abdominals. And this does work your upper body as well. So I'm going to give you some different levels. Okay, so you want your gliders behind you. Make sure you've got plenty of room. Now, I have them here, so I'm going to bring my mat forward. That's it. So you need to be able to take the arm back like that. Okay? So just practice first. So I've got a couple of options for you. So breathe in, breathe out. Remember, push against your activation bands to support you. So we're here. We're going to roll back a little bit. Now press the hand on the glider and you're going to stretch it out. How far down you go um, is up to you. How, how we do our, our roll down normally. Okay, um, don't go down too far if it's too much. So a little way or you can do it a long way and back. Just try it. Breathing in. Breathing out. Stretch. You can go down a little bit lower. Draw the abdominals in. Slide back. Again, if it's too much, you can keep one hand um, on the mat, uh, on the carpet rather than... So let's do one side first. All right, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals. Remember, you can just go down a little way or you can go down a lot further. Draw the abdominals in as you come back up. Breathing in, breathing out. More advanced, hand behind the head. Uh, and abdominals. There, breathing in, breathing out. There, and back. There, and back. So if it's too much, hand on the floor or just hand on the other glider. Okay, let's swap sides. Breathing in, breathing out, stretching back, draw the abdominals in as you come back up. So you can go down all the way to the floor if you want to, or just a little way. Make sure you're drawing those abdominals in. Good, there, and back again if you want to. Keep the other hand on the floor, or a little bit more advanced hand behind the head. As you go back, that was too low there for me. There, and back, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals in, coming back, or both at the same time. There, draw the abdominals in, there, and back. So this is working your arms, your abdominals, your core, really a lot of things going on here. And again, if you just want to make it a little movement, fine, or a bigger one, all the way down, and back. Breathing in, breathing out, there, and back. Fantastic. So good, I mean, the advantage of using these as well, it's, it speeds up your workouts. I know I always go on about if you're going on holiday, uh, always do your plank exercises. If you take this with you, these, it really does speed up your, speed up your workout. Okay, hug your knees, nice deep breath in and out. Okay, so we're going to, going to go into um, some more advanced abdominals. This, this time, you're going to put your heels against this one. You, if you're using the, um, the pieces of paper, it didn't work last week, so keep your shoes on. It's almost if you've got these glider things. Um, okay, so we're going here. So first of all, again, this is quite challenging. So uh, like beginner level, really, I want you to keep your hands on the floor, breathing in, breathing out. So you're going to slide the legs away, go back, and then coming up. Okay, so, so this is like level one, a tiny movement there and back. Breathing in, breathing out. Drag the heels in, draw the abdominals in there and back. So you can take them as a little way, tiny movement. Just go back a little bit or you can go a little bit further and back. Breathing in, breathing out. Draw those abdominals in there and back, there and back. And of course, if you want to, um, again, make sure you feel strong enough in your back. You can do it without holding onto the floor. So we're going there and back. You can make it a tiny movement like this. We can go a little bit further. There, breathing in, breathing out. There and back. 
there and back and then we can just hold it there and then a little alternating draw the abdominals in again if it's too much keep the hands on the mat but drag the heels back to really work those abdominals good great okay um, and relax so then turn around the other way and just do go back to where we were and just into um, our leg slides again if you want to um if you want to use the gliders you can uh, or if you've had enough i quite understand <laughs> all right so again if you're using a bit of paper um you'll probably need your shoes on it works okay with the gliders and the proper things without the shoes okay so lying on your mat it's a neutral spine position draw those abdominals in breathing in breathing out so slide that leg away and the idea is when you bring the leg back you're drawing the heel into the glider to work the core muscles a little bit more breathing in breathing out draw the abdominals in can you feel that breathing in breathing out if you don't want to use the gliders just go back to your normal leg slides opposite arm and opposite leg if you're using the glider nice and slowly and then drag that foot back as you bring the leg back breathing in breathing out there lengthening and stretching abdominals in there and back there and back both arms back there that's it both arms out to the side there and back there and back stretching up there dragging the idea is to really drag that foot back and you'll feel the core muscles working if you find you get you take the leg out and your back arches fine just a tiny movement just breathe in breathe out abdominals drag that foot back this is great for your legs the back of the legs as well you don't have to do any thigh strengthening at the end <laughs> no side lying okay there and back there and back there and back now if you want to you can add an abdominal curl in with this so again it's up to you okay i gave you some option just now where you don't have to lift your head off um, but you can if you want to so breathing in breathing out curling across slide that leg back breathing. so i'm going diagonally at the moment so we're working those obliques breathing in breathing out so just come a little bit further forward there we go there and back there and back we can come up to the center there and back there and back there okay so we can go diagonally curl up and then again just side to side a little bit faster drag the heels into the mat side to side there 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 and then you can come up and then just slide both legs away be careful with this one and you're going to draw it back so we're coming away draw it back away draw it back and then the opposite so we're curling up and then we go away as we go back down draw all the abdominals in breathing in breathing out so watch your back on this one so you can make it a very tiny movement There, a little bit more if you want to draw the abdominals in there and back there and back there okay curling up and we're just going to hold it and then what we're going to do with the heels push the heels in and just like a double time here draw the abdominals in a little bit but you can do this if it's too much on your neck okay you can rest your head on the mat a little bit tiny movement there draw the abdominals in curl up if you want to and again just speed it up side to side a bit quicker if you want to there draw the abdominals in up to you and you can keep it like this okay and relax hold it there curling up and just a little pulsing action a little bit higher draw the abdominals in good okay and relax all right we can put those away now <laughs> we're finished with those for the day 
you'll be pleased to hear. Draw the knees in, and again, you're going to roll those hips side to side. One way, and the other way. Good, and then into uh, your spine stretch, breathing in, breathing out. Hips one way, leg the other. Press the shoulder blades into the mat. Good, and back. Breathing in, breathing out, side to side. Stretch, and back. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. All right, feet back on the mat, hands down by your side and just roll the head side to side, up and down. Okay, so we're going to add in, just to finish off with our shoulder bridge, if you do want a bit more going on in the thighs. Oh, I did forget we could, yes, actually we can do this with the gliders, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so as normal, into our shoulder bridge with or without the gliders if you want to. So breathing in, breathing out, curl the hips up. And again, you can just take those legs away a little bit. Uh, breathing in, breathing out, slide away and rolling down. Not too far with the legs, curling up, take the legs back a little bit and down. So we're going there, add the arms in and slowly rolling back down. So just literally by keeping the heels on the glider or on, on the mat, you're really working the thighs without actually moving them, but you can move the legs a little bit, bit if you want to. Just holding it there. Be careful the legs don't slide away completely. Breathing in, breathing out, holding that. You're going to feel that in the legs. So you can take them out um, a little way if you want to. Breathing in, breathing out, curling up. There. And back. And if you want a little bit extra there, again, curling up, hold it. And again, just that little side to side there. You're going to really activate your... your uh, hamstrings, back of the thighs, dominoes in, bustock muscles, there, back, there, back. Good, okay, and relax. Draw your knees in. This time take your hands in between the legs, grab your ankles, draw the feet in towards you. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Good, and relax, feet back on the mat, and roll your head side to side and up and down. Good, okay, so we're gonna go into um, our back stretch and our, our stretching relaxation. So take the band away for the moment. Put your gliders away, we've definitely finished with them now. It's up to you. If you prefer to do your relaxation and stretching <coughs> without your shoes on, um, you can take them off now uh, while I put the music on. That's it, have a bit of water. Okay, you should really have been able to uh, been able to feel that felt that in the um, uh, in the hamstrings there. Okay, so first of all, into our low back stretch. All right, keep your neutral spine position. Slide the legs away. Arms up above the head, so you're lengthening through the whole body. Stretch the arms, stretch the legs, point the toes, flex the feet. You will find in this position that your back does arch. You can press it down, but it will arch a little bit. Breathing in, breathing out. Draw that leg in. Grab the back of the thigh and press your lower back into the mat. Optional to curl up and then hold that stretch. Maybe hold the stretch a bit longer today uh, because we've been working quite a lot on that midsection. Um, on your core, on your abdominals, which of course does strengthen your low back as well. So important here to give it a good stretch out. Good, that's out again. Point the toes, flex the feet, and bring the other arm in. Press your lower back into the mat. Point the toes, flex the feet. So breathing normally, but holding the stretch. Good, and we're going to hold it a little bit longer today to give your low back. Um, a really good stretch out. Good, a couple more. Stretching and back. Good. 
draw the abdominals in, just breathe in normally. Good, one more time. Point the toes, flex the feet, stretch. And draw, the, uh, draw your leg in, your thigh in. Press your lower back into the mat. Curling up is optional. Just want you to feel that stretch. Breathing normally, but keep your abdominals in. Good. Okay, so we're going into our stretches now. Um, and relaxation. So grab one of your bands, either your stretchy band um, or your activation band. And I said you can take your shoes off now if you want to, up to you. All right, point the toes, flex the feet, breathing in as you point, breathing out as you flex, and then use the band to stretch the leg back a little bit more, to tip the toes back a little bit more and straighten the leg a little bit more. As the weeks go on, so you're just working on this, point the toes, flex the feet, stretch the leg back. Point and flex. Hold that position and turn the leg inwards and outwards to get those deeper stretches there. Good, all right, hold the band in one hand. Take the left leg over to the right. And just move that leg forwards and backwards. Keep the foot flexed for that deeper stretch. Okay, change hands, foot flex, turn the leg out, but just feel inner thigh, remember. So not, not only take the leg out, turn the leg out a little bit as well. This time keeping the pelvis on the mat, foot flexed, and again into deeper stretches there. Good. All right, bring the leg back. And the swap legs. Good, so left leg out. Right leg up in the air. Point the toes, flex the feet. Remember you can do this on both legs. Point the toes, breathing in, breathing out, flex the foot back. Point and flex, straightening the leg a little bit more when you feel you can, adding more resistance with the bands. And then turn that leg inwards and outwards with the foot flexed. That's it. Right, all right, hold the band in one hand and take the right leg over to there. So the hip comes off the mat. Although your hip comes off, you're still drawing the abdominals in and keeping your spine in neutral. Don't let the back over arch or anything. Good, and then move that leg forwards and backwards. All right, bring the leg back. Swap hands, keep the foot flex, take the leg out, turn the leg out a little bit as well here to turn that leg out to activate that inner thigh. And again, moving that leg forwards and backwards. Foot flex, add a bit more, oops, <laughs> add a bit more, it's just adding a bit more resistance there with the band, flexing the foot back a little bit more. <laughs> That's it. All right, bring the leg back and into your hip stretch and level pelvis neutral spine position. Left foot on the bent knee, turn the knee out to the side. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth and stretch that thigh out without the hip twisting. And then the other one. Brilliant, okay, so now we go into our relaxation. So find your most comfortable position on your back, over into a child's pose stretch. Again, up to you. And first of all, we're gonna concentrate on relaxing every muscle of the body. So relaxing the neck, relax the head, relax the arms, tense and relax. Relax your shoulders, relax your back, relax your hips, and relax your legs. Again, you can stretch the legs out if you want to. You can keep them bent, you can take the knees apart. Right, so we're going to focus on our Pilates breathing now. So keep your body relaxed, no muscles tensed. All relaxed and into the mat. 
and then I'm going to breathe in through the nose, rib cage expanding sideways, holding it for a few seconds, long slow breath out through the mouth, rib cage closing, good, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and continue that in your own time, focusing on that rise and fall of the rib cage. Deep breath into the nose, out through the mouth, and relaxing the whole body. Relax all your muscles, no tension anywhere, so you can always straighten the legs if it's more comfortable. You can keep them bent, you can take the knees apart, whatever feels most comfortable for you. Deep breath in through the nose, long, slow breath out through the mouth. Focusing on that rise and fall of the rib cage. And then learning to hold the breath a little bit longer. So your breathing slows down and you get into a state of relaxation. to relax them a bit more. Come back on all fours, we're going to go into our cat stretch, so rounding the shoulder blades, back to neutral, breathing in, breathing out, draw the abdominals in, shoulder blades back and down, remember not to over arch the back when you get to this position and don't throw the head up, lengthen through the spine, shoulder blades back and down, rounding and retracting and then slowly come back up so into a downward dog stretch first stretch the arms stretch your shoulders stretch your back draw the abdominals in and then just alternating trying to get the heels down towards the mat okay abdominals in bend the knees a little bit walk your hands back up towards the feet breathing in breathing out draw the abdominals in opening up the shoulder blades and all the way back to your start position. All right, relax the arms, neutral spine position, breathing in and out. So shoulders forwards, up, back and down. And reaching up, stretching up, draw the abdominals in, head forwards. And slowly coming back up. Great, so I hope you enjoyed that today. So what we did, we focused on all our abdominal muscles. So transverse abdominus, rectus abdominus, obliques, and we used our gliders. Um, so if you do like the gliders and you're continuing with me either online or coming back to classes, do purchase them. They're, they're like $5.99. Um, I can send you the link if you want to, just let me know. Um, I think it's quite a good addition really to the classes. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that today um, and I'll see you soon.